Hello everyone, Joe here. In today's Luminar tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the luminance masking to help add detail to your image. So we'll be getting this photo here from this photo here. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, everyone. Well, this time I'm actually going to start out with a clear workspace and add the filters as we go, because I'm actually going to be creating a black and white image as you've seen in the before and after, obviously. And I want to show you how you can add detail and stuff to that image. So let's first go ahead and get the basic one we need first, and that's denoise. Always should have denoise. And I'm going to go ahead and drop sharpening in while we're at it. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull these up, say about 10 or 11, just a little bit, see here, to add just a little, uh, remove any kind of noise. Now you're probably wondering if I'm going to make a black and white, why I even worry with the color, because if you don't, that can add some uh, artifacts and stuff in the background, and it will actually show up. So it's best just to add just a little bit of, you know, color denoising stuff. And of course, if you do kind of any uh, denoising, you always need to add sharpening, which you need to add sharpening to most any photos. So let's go ahead and bring up the sharpening here just a little bit. I'm going to bring it up, say, about 30. Hey, it's 31 is close enough. And about 50 on the radius. And about masking here, about 70. Because we want to get it on more or less on not the trees and the housing and stuff. And, and kind of keep that sharpening off the sky as much as possible. So about 70 should work. Yeah, 71 is close enough. And of course, the D halo, I'm just going to leave it 50, the default. Okay, wonderful. Now that we got that done, let's go ahead and drop in our black and white conversion. Let's go ahead and find that one. Black and white conversion, put, drop that in. Let's go ahead and down here. Okay, now for this right here, we're going to adjust just a little bit on the highlights and the shadows. And you know, I want to bring back that sky. So let's drop, pull this down about negative 40 on the highlights. And the shadows, I'm going to bring up about 40. Oh, a bit too much there. There it is. Negative 40 and a 40. That gives us a, a good flat image to work with. And make sure we got all the detail. As we can see, i got plenty of detail in this image now. And we can zoom in here. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So now we got plenty of detail to work with. We can do a lot more editing. Now, for this right here, I want to bring down the reds just a little bit. And if you see, if I adjust the reds, you can tell the roofs on some of the housing and some of the dirt and stuff and, and sand. And the cement gets adjusted as well. I want to bring it down, let's say here, about negative 30. 29, 30 is close enough. Yeah, negative 29. Yellow also, I want to bring down about negative uh, 18. The green, I'm not going to touch. Now, the cyan and the blues, I'm actually going to bring these down quite a bit. So watch this when I bring these down. It's really going to bring back those clouds a lot. So you can see here, bringing it up. It brings about the details in those clouds, which is something I want to bring back all that. And magenta, I'm not going to touch either. Now, I am going to go ahead and bump the clarity here up to about 50. And bring that gives a lot more detail and stuff. Let's see if we can remove this. And the changes we've made with this so far. And so far, I like what, I see, what I'm seeing and everything. Okay, now I want to go to the Accent AI. Let me add that filter here. Accent AI. This is a wonderful tool. One of my favorites, matter of fact. And let's bring that up. I'm bringing that up to a whopping 70. You can see it brings back so much detail. See before, after. It balances everything out really nice. I like the way the Accent AI works. Like I said, it's one of my favorite tools so far in Luminaire. And of course, I'm going to drop a vignette on here. Let's go ahead and drop that on. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and drop the image radiance filter on there as well. Now let's go down. I'm going to bring my vidnet down to 55. I need 56 close enough. That way it kind of darkens in the edge and keeps you more focused towards the center. And the image radiance here, I'm going to pull up to about 50. 
because I think it really makes the image look quite good. You can see before and after. Yeah, that does add a little bit more contrast and stuff to it and everything, but overall it ends up balancing out quite uh, good, making your image uh, kind of radiate and glow it in a way. And I really do like the way that uh, makes the image look. Like I said before and after. Yeah, that's looking quite well. Okay. Now we mentioned the uh, luminance layer. Now, well, now we're going to go to do that. Go up here to the layers button and add a little add new adjustment layer. Okay. Then we can use the little brush icon right here. The nose got a brush, gradient mask, radio mask, and luminosity mask. And we're going to click on luminosity mask. Now, what it's doing is going to actually make a black and white uh, lumin uh, luminance mask of everything. As you can see up next to layer here, and I'll zoom in. Got a little picture of it here. Now I want to right click on that and go to invert. That way, everything that's uh, it's getting applied is on the white end. What I, what I did was I inverted it. That way, it takes a lot of it off the skies and focuses more of it on like the uh, darker areas in the details and stuff. That way, I'll get a lot of this uh, structure when I add it in the microstructure. I get applied to the palm trees and the housing and stuff, and a little bit on the clouds, but more or less keep it off the uh, open sky as much as possible. So let's go ahead and add another filter now. Let's go down to uh, find structure. Pop that in there. Then let's go down and find our microstructure while we're at it. There it is, microstructure. Okay. This is pretty easy on the structure here. Uh, I'm just going to bring that up to say 50. And just a little bit too much. Yeah, 49 is close enough. And I'm going to boost that up just a little bit more to about 70. Let's see what we've done with that so far. I'm not sure we bring out a lot of that details. Which is very useful because uh, using the image radiance to kind of make, uh, make you lose details sometimes. So this lets you keep that image radiant look while still bringing out the details. And black and white images need to look really crisp, you know, to me at least. Then on the microstructure here, we're just going to bring that up, say about 50 as well. And that brings back more of the fine details like in these, you know, coconut trees and stuff. And to me, that looks really, really good. Now, what we need to do now is do some cropping. Let's go up here to our tools, go to crop, and I want to choose 16 by 9 because it's a landscape, and I like, you know, landscapes kind of look a little wide. And we're going to just crop this in just a little bit here and put that the seawall right here because this is a photo I took here in the Philippines while the tide was on very, very low. So I'm out where the water is normally like two or three feet deep, <laughs> you know, shooting back at the little, you know, housing and stuff next to it, the little locals housing. So I think about right here. Looks about right. And yeah, put like the seawall going across. Yeah. And let's click done on that. And we're done. So I think it looks pretty darn decent here. So let's do a little before and after if you like this video then you may also like a shampoo backup pro backup pro can back up and restore individual files or entire operating systems safely and securely backup support auto updates and can either be stored locally on network drives or in the cloud learn more by clicking the link in the description below Okay, everyone. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I know it's pretty quick. It's pretty simple, but I hope everybody likes it. And I hope it kind of demonstrates how you can use the luminosity masking to uh, help bring out details. You know, especially when you want to use like structure, but you don't want structure applied to like your skies and stuff. So anyway, I hope everybody found this tutorial helpful. If you did, how about giving me a thumbs up? A thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free. It's for you. and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time. Thank you for watching.